the megalithic community are always putting forth they're always chasing high technology at look at all these holes and dints are just that they are just the imprints of technological pieces from the flood and all the rock formed around these implements as they rusted and rotted away and left imprints in the rock right uh, and this one here this piece in Egypt I think it's in the uh, one of the Egyptian museums anyway this is the main one that people like Brian Forrester and all them lot put forth as this is your number one evidence for core drilling right because it is extremely technical this core drilling you know you've got diamond tipped core drill pieces and they spin round and they have to spin round at a high revolution of rate to even cut through granite right uh, but as you can see and as I pointed out before this piece of rock here it has got spirals all the way down it you know grooves and in fact those grooves the measurement uh, is more advanced than what our core drilling devices can actually do today you know the measurements between each line right but it's not what they say it is because if you look and it's pretty clear I've shown this uh, I've shown this from many angles many different images and they all show the same thing that this piece is wider at the top and thinner at the bottom you, you know depending on which way that you've got it up but it is indeed thinner and that is impossible you cannot drill through hard rock like granite diorite and the side now that said of course there are going to be some holes that have been core drilled into stone hard rock across the world at some of these archaeological sites but I'm telling you they're going to be very very few and far between because most of these sites have been completely devastated if you look at just how much we drill into rock today with all our technology and building know-how it is so rare right because we don't build like that you don't just drill holes and grooves into rock to slot things into because rock breaks right and grinds down you build with metal glass and concrete and things like that okay just like this piece here which is probably number two what they always show and this is so obvious I pointed this out if you look at this hole here this is also thinner where his hand is pointing to and wider in fact it splays out if you look at the top where this is brought you can see probably something like a three inch dark line a dark outline that goes around this hole that is in fact probably where it rotted away it will have been that thick what it was I don't know could have been something like a strut from a building you know something like that I don't know but that's what it appears to be to me and this cannot be core drill hole and this should have been spotted by them already because the square holes that you're looking at on at the side how could the core drill device spin round and leave those square markings there that alone proves this to be anything other than a core drill hole I don't care about the grooves being there the grooves could just be where it where this stuff had been milled down whether you know if it were plastic metal glass I don't know but that's all it is I'm telling you uh, it could have been something like this And this one is another one that they always show and it's exactly the same as what I've just been pointing out. If you look at directly at the top of the picture, right where it's broken, you can see a rim, a groove that runs around the back of it. It's some type of tube device, I'm not sure what it is, but you can see where this is not what they say it is that's all I'm getting at it's just not what they say it is
Well, if you like that, ladies and gentlemen, and you want to help the channel moving forward, you can press on the link in a pinned comment, which will be in every video from now on. Thank you.